Now we all know that taking time out for fitness is often the last thing on our to-do list, but our diet and fitness guest today has a great idea for fitting fitness into our very busy lives. And we don't even need to leave the house. Good morning, personal trainer Lorraine Scapins. Hi Val. So how important is it to get exercise each day? We all know now how important it is to get exercise into our each day and to move more because it's going to help to improve our short and long-term health and fitness. We know from recent studies that exercise will help reduce the risk of diabetes, mm. heart disease and stroke. Lots of other things, yeah. isn't it? And then short term, you know, looking at benefits such as improving posture, reducing pain, decreasing stress and also managing a nice healthy weight. So you came up with this kitchen bench workout. Yeah. So can you fit much into, into such a small space? You can do actually and it's surprising. I mean, so many of us now are time poor. We mm. just some of us can't get to the gym or the gyms are not affordable and we, so we're looking at doing things in the house whether it's in our garage and so these programs just make um, exercise so much more achievable in such a short sp okay. uh, small place. Well let's work through some of the things that you've got okay. for the kitchen bench Should workout. I'll try and do as many as I can but obviously yeah. clothing wise not <laughs> always practical. I'll no. keep the squats out I think yeah. for everyone's benefit. Okay so we can start off with basic type exercises and warm up exercise and okay. honestly I do these glute kickbacks when I'm making coffee with the kids in right. the morning. So just up and... So just basic. And now depending on um, how fit you are and your level, you can take these up to, you know, 10, 20 reps, do them faster. And we want to make sure we're doing them on both sides. So how should we be doing it? Should we be really squeezing the, the glutes? Yes, we need to be thinking about the glutes when we're doing this particular exercise and also thinking about our core muscles and posture. Okay. So again, you know, it doesn't really matter if you miss a few counts, you know, just let's get through it that's more important and the right. time we spend. So let's do some press-ups next. Okay. How many sets well. of those should you be looking at doing? We can do anything from 10 to 15 reps okay. of each one. And we can do them slow or fast, depending on the type of workout that we want. That's great. So chest up, good posture there, Mel. And we think about exhaling as we come up and we're thinking about those deep abdominal muscles, our core muscles. Why do you exhale as you come up? So what we want to do is exhale when we come up because that's the best way to activate our deep core muscles. So we activate the pelvic floor and the transverse on the exhale and then on the inhale, the diaphragm and the lower back muscles activate. So we're trying to keep a nice pressure system. So you're working a lot more than muscles. just your arms, you think? You with the are. Pressure. It becomes a complete upper and lower body, this exercise. You know, there's about 15 exercises. Okay, I'm leaving that one to you. In the full circuit, you know, and we can make these basic we can make them quite dynamic by adding jumps and pushing up onto the benches. It just depends, you know, there's so many ways what we can do. I like to add kicks into the squats as well. You want to make well. sure there's not a child behind yes, you when you do those ones? Yes, always make sure they're out of the way. We can turn round on the benches and we can do really controlled core oh, strength exercises oh. which are perfect. It's hurting me just looking at yeah, it. Yeah, and even, you know, into some really challenging one leg exercises as well. So, all, so there's lots of things that you can do in a small space and so many people, and this is not just to say we can do it at home, you can do it at the office, mm. you know, on the desk, on the back of a couch even as well, all work. Don't do it on a roller chair though, no. that put in quite <laughs> yeah. badly. Yeah, no, um, so people watching the show, hopefully they've joined in with us. So is it suitable for everybody? What about pregnant women? Yep, all the exercises are suitable for everybody. Okay, so what do we need to remember with some of these exercises to make sure we don't injure ourselves? Definitely technique. That's really important. Mm -hmm. That's going to help because a lot of these exercises are designed to help reduce back pain. So that's what we want to keep. So always think about technique and how you're activating your deep core muscles. When you're doing your squats, what should you be thinking about? Again, nice spinal neutral. I like to think when we're doing squats is always sticking our bottom out. Okay. We want to keep and where should your that feet nice be? curve just wider than shoulder width apart and when we come up we always think about concentrating on pushing our weight into our heels so we can get those glute muscles activated because often you see squats bending mm. forward rounding out and they're not going to target the right muscles and the exercises actually start to become a waste so you need time. to have that really straight back yeah and you really need to go back and make sure you protect your knees as well how should yeah. you be protecting your knees in these exercises again keeping the knees out over the ankles making sure everything's in a nice aligned so we don't want to see any of this medial rotation okay and if 
people find that they're doing this, then maybe the glutes aren't strong enough to keep the knees in that safe position. So we need to do a little bit more glute work. It seems that my physio has been telling me that recently a lot, that I've got a lazy, a lazy, a lazy glute or yes. something along those lines. A lazy butt, I think you he know, said, actually. It is, and that's a term that my husband uses a lot as well. Um, because we're sitting down mm. a lot and we're not using them. And if the brain can't connect with them, we won't contract with them. So we start using a lot of other muscles, such as the lower back muscles or the hamstrings. Right. And that's what can start to increase a lot of pain. Some great tips there, Lorraine. Thank you so much. And I love those I love those, those um, press-ups. They're great. They're so easy to add into our yeah. day. Loads you know, of things we could add in. Making the sandwiches off. for the kids. Away you press go. Up. In between. Wait, might press waiting up. for dinner. You know, waiting for this salmon to come out the oven. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, thank you so much. For another way to get some fitness into your day, check out Health Station VFit Special Cafe offer. Call the number on screen.